Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. It's our last morning here. We have to check out of this beautiful resort and we're heading back to Shillong. But on the way we're going to be doing a lot of sightseeing. So the plan for today is we're visiting these caves. We're going to be trekking through those caves. We're visiting all the waterfalls that are around Sora. But unfortunately because we're visiting in March, a lot of waterfalls don't really have that much water, so that's a bummer. But we'll check them out anyway and see what they're like. Then we're also visiting Kong Thong village, which is the whistling village has a very interesting story to it which I'll tell you about once we get there and then we're reaching Shillong so that's the plan a long and exciting day ahead of us so quickly going to have breakfast and then get going good morning good, good morning. morning breakfast with a view so we're checking out right now and just taking in this view one last time also in the distance there i don't know if you can see there's a city and that is basically bangladesh which is really cool so this is our resort and that there is bangladesh but saying goodbye to this view one last time and we're going to be on our way let's sit down it's getting cold all the clear is not cold and you are something i don't want to miss so our first stop for today is Mosmai Cave. Meghalaya has tons of caves. It's very famous for its waterfalls and caves. We are only visiting one cave which is this one and these are basically limestone caves. So let's go inside and see what it's like. Oh my god, we have to climb upstairs. After yesterday, my legs, my thighs, everything is so sore. So this is going to be a struggle but hopefully not too many stairs today. inside the caves now and this is so breathtaking and magical this is reminding me of the limestone caves we visited in vietnam those were also kind of like this uh, and this is just so beautiful <laughs> Ow, i hit my head so some sections of this cave are really narrow so we're literally having to like crawl through these narrow uh, archways there's one here also i don't know if you can see it's very dark so it's quite an easy walk except for these tiny sections in between where you have to watch your head So we're done with the caves. It was quite a short cave. It's only 250 meters long, I think, but very beautiful. It's an easy walk inside the caves, but uh, like I said, there are a few parts where you have to watch your head and sort of bend and climb up and climb down. But the caves were stunning. So as we were exiting, we realized there's another set of caves here as well, with a very narrow entrance. So. We're going to be checking this out as well. I don't think there are lights inside, so I don't know if I'll be able to film much, but let's see what it's like. Okay, so using my torchlight and going into this extremely narrow cave. So we're inside these caves now and using torchlight. I'm going to turn off the torch, both of us, and then you can see how dark it is. Okay, turn it off. Three, two, one. Oh my god. It's literally pitch black inside. There's no 
light whatsoever. Oh my god, these caves were amazing. So we went inside uh, and sat in pitch black darkness, turned off our phones and just sat there for like five minutes and it was so scary and so thrilling. Such an amazing experience but overall really enjoyed these caves and now we're just going to be heading and checking out some waterfalls. <laughs> So the first waterfalls we're visiting uh, is a bit anticlimactic because there's no water. But these are the seven sister waterfalls. During monsoons, there are basically seven segments, which is why uh, it's called seven sister waterfalls. We can sort of see one section where there is some water. But the view from here is quite breathtaking, even though we didn't really get to see the waterfalls itself. So we've been a bit unlucky in terms of waterfalls on this trip. We drove past uh, Dainthalin waterfalls, Nokhalikai waterfalls and there was no water. So right now we're trying our luck with Wei Sodong waterfalls. Uh, I can sort of hear some water. So hopefully there's some water there. But yeah, we've just been a bit unlucky because we came here in March. But let's see what Wei Sodong waterfalls are like. As the rest we fall until it all breaks down. Finally some water. These waterfalls are so beautiful and they're basically three step waterfalls. So there's like a pool on each step and the water is so blue and so beautiful. So let us walk right into the forest, to the trees and the rising sun. It is something we can't outrun. from here is quite spectacular you can also go all the way up to the falls it's like a 20 minute trek but we are very tired after yesterday so we're just enjoying the view from here uh, but I can only imagine how beautiful this must be when there's more water but this also looks very nice the blue water looks so amazing For lunch we've come to this restaurant called Orange Roots. It's a vegetarian restaurant and we've ordered a special thali, one for each of us and the food is looking so good and we've also got a view. That lunch was quite good but unfortunately there's been a slight change of plans. We're no longer going to Kong Thong village and we're heading back to Shillong and we'll be doing a bunch of things in Shillong. So I was really looking forward to visiting Kong Thong village because the unique thing about the village is that you know how we all have names. In that village instead of names, they do have names as well, but instead of that they have a tune for each person and if they want to call someone they use that tune to like call each other which I thought was so fascinating and I really wanted to like check that out and also vlog that but unfortunately not happening but we'll do other fun things instead so we're heading back to Shillong now which is like a two hour drive and on the way we may check out some stuff and in the evening we're going to be exploring police bazaar in Shillong so let's get going Almost back to Shillong, but on the way, we're just stopping to check out Elephant Falls. This summer, I'll be by your side. I wonder that you can describe. I want you 
made it back to Shillong and this is our hotel room. We're staying in this hotel called Alpine Continental which is right in Police Bazaar. Police Bazaar is like the main market area here so we're just gonna freshen up now and go check out the market and try out some good food. Shillong is famous for its cafes so uh, I already visited Dylan's cafe a few days ago but hopefully we'll visit a nice cafe for dinner today. Okay, so this is a very crowded market as you can see so many people and it's very lively lots of stores along the way and lots of eating joints as well like on the street so walking around police bazaar we just came across this place called delhi mishkan bhandar which one of my friends also recommended so we ordered some mithai and chaat my friend recommended trying the gulab jamun here so we're going to be trying that uh, everything looks really good so let's begin so honestly the food here is kind of underwhelming it's not that great the service was also not uh, very nice so yeah, we're just going to quickly finish this food and get going and hopefully find a better spot. We've come to this restaurant called Grow Me Tree which serves sushi and we've ordered pasta and a bunch of other things. But the ambience here is so nice. So that's all for this video. In the next vlog, I'm going to be exploring Shillong and a few places around Shillong. Basically, uh, Light Loom Canyons and Moflong Sacred Forest and local sightseeing in Shillong itself. Super excited about all of that. We also wanted to visit Krang Suri waterfalls, but after today and seeing how waterfalls don't really have too much water at this time, we have decided to skip that. I think I have to come back to Meghalaya again just for waterfalls. But nonetheless, the next vlog is going to be quite exciting. So be sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.